Last time you saw us, we had an awesome journey heading from Menorca to Sardinia. It was a bit of a lumpy 35 hours, but we made it in one piece. We spent a night in a beautiful quiet anchorage before moving on again to some crystal clear blue waters. But today we're heading about seven hours up the coast of Sardinia around here. the main sail out now all out to the starboard side and Jade's about to get the head sail out well we're sailing at the minute even though the engine's on neutral. we're in neutral so this is just the furling line so we're unfurling the head sail that's a beautiful feeling isn't it when the engine goes off it really is. Listen to that silence. Do you know what? I wonder if we could go wing on wing. Maybe. Can I try it? Yeah, let's give it a go. Can we put the pole out? Or... Mm, yeah. I don't think we'll need the pole. I'm gonna go a little bit of wing on wing. Yeah. Looks beautiful, don't it? Looks nice. Cruising along, dead downwind at 4.1 boat speed and about 10 knots of wind. Champagne sailing, baby. Champagne sailing. Where's the champagne? Um, we have tequila. I'll, I'll have water. <laughs> got about nine knots of wind at the minute true and we're sailing at around four knots so hopefully it's, we are due a little bit more wind than this and hopefully we can maintain about four and a half knots should be getting in between five and six o'clock unless the wind really picks up then we'll probably get in a little bit quicker than that what's on the menu for lunch friend Nudes. Nudes. Instant noodles. Instant noodles with sriracha. That is where it's at. So good. Oh. We have 15 knots of wind now. Uh, still dead down wind. And we're cruising along at five knots boat speed. Mm -hmm. The sea state's picked up a little bit, but it's still awesome. Still really nice. If it stays like this the whole way. I oh, know. This would be like a dream passage. Yeah. I had to just swerve the boat because there was suddenly so many fishing pots. I don't know if you can see them on the GoPro, but um, there's at least been 20, 30 fishing pots so far. So paying very good attention now up ahead. Um, and also we were obviously talking about how amazing our tiller pilot was earlier. Flipping typically, he's just stopped working. Not good. Not good. Well, he hasn't stopped working, but there's a noise coming from one of the motors. And rather than burn him out, I thought I'd see if anything's just slipped or moved on the inside. Because um, if I can repair him before he's properly broken, that would be much better. Unfortunately, um, I, I don't, we haven't got the parts to repair it. And I don't think we're going to be able to get the parts easily. It looks like there's at least one O-ring that's gone and there's a couple of the bits that I'm unsure about. And yep, now it looks like we don't have an autopilot for the next thousand miles potentially. Not great, but nothing we can't handle anyway. Yeah, not the end of the world, just a bit annoying because obviously I don't think we're going to be able to replace him while we're out here. And it's been an amazing crew member, hasn't it? Yes. Oh. Really has. R.I.P. R.I.P. T.P. R.I.P. T.P. So long. T.P. has risen from the dead. So, for some bizarre reason, me taking it apart and putting things back together again hasn't fully, fully fixed the problem, but it's sounding a lot, lot better than it was. So 
TP seems okay at the minute. We're going to keep a close eye and I think we're potentially going to still look for spare parts wherever we can. But hopefully, hopefully, uh, we're okay now. We love you. We love you. So we head in from here, all the way over to here. And then we'll be aiming to get round here. Um, these are supposed to be beautiful. Um, La Madalena. Uh, we've been told it's really, really nice around here. So yeah, we're looking forward to uh, getting to there. Although we won't be there long because as soon as there's a good weather window, we're gonna cross from there all the way over to Rome. So as we've got you guys here and we're on an awesome day and wind sail, wing on wing which doesn't happen very often and calm conditions, I thought I'd take this to talk about boats with you guys, uh, the best boats for people to buy. Now essentially budget is a big factor in this. If you're planning on cruising mostly one destination, so you, you're going to buy a boat in the Mediterranean and you're probably going to stay in the Mediterranean for three to four years, or you're sailing in North America or wherever it is, but you're probably going to be staying in the same location, my advice for you there is because online everyone talks about a blue water cruiser, and don't get me wrong, they are pretty much the best of the best if you're buying a big blue water cruiser they're really really expensive and you might not need all of those things or if you're buying more of a budget blue water cruiser they usually have a bit more of a compromise on the comforts or things that you might want to enjoy but all of this is just my opinion as someone who's super enthusiastic and has a true love for boats and i absolutely love reading about them reading reviews and watching reviews so i can't say for really first-hand experience this is just my own kind of makeup from my own research um, but the one thing that I have noticed is that everyone kind of talks about a blue water cruiser as being the holy grail and you can't go sailing unless you have one and the thing that we've found is Talisman isn't really a blue water cruiser but we're having the best time sailing thousands of miles at this point and yeah we don't really think that the blue water cruiser title is a is a title that everyone should be necessarily aiming for if your type of sailing doesn't recommend doesn't need it so don't be scared off by production boats or smaller pocket cruisers and things like that the best way really to get a feel for a boat is to just get out and get on some and you might find that you really really enjoy it and you can probably do it a little bit cheaper than you thought if you're willing to have a look at some other unusual boats what would be your next boat after talisman if we're talking dream boat, I'd probably go for a Garcia Exploration 45 or a Sirius uh, DS or 35 DS or 40 DS, that's the deck saloon. Uh, these two boats in my eyes are probably the best built, best use of space and just have everything you would pretty much ever want. The Garcia is a boat that would literally take you from the North Pole to the South Pole east west literally anywhere and the Sirius could almost do that I mean it, it probably definitely could but it's not uh, an aluminium boat it's a fiberglass boat so the polar regions you might want to be careful of so yeah these are all pretty much just my own thoughts but what are your guys thoughts so if there's any boats that I might not have seen looked at read about what are your guys kind of go-to boats if you could have your dream boat what would it be or what's your best budget cruising option let us know down in the comments and I'll get to check them out and have a read and you know, I love learning about these sorts of things. I almost can't believe that uh, we've sailed this boat over two and a half thousand nautical miles from uh, Southampton to Sardinia, <laughs> which is crazy. We just felt that it was a really, really good starter boat for us that we could just learn and have fun on. And, and yeah, I think this just, you know, reaffirms Bryn's point that most of the time, like, there's all sorts of boats that will get you where you want to be. Um, it doesn't always have to be the top blue water cruiser. Um, 
it's usually the crew that lets you down before the boat. We've been told this loads of times and I definitely think that's true. Um, we are 100% more scared of waves and high wind than Talisman is. <laughs> she takes it like a champ where we're reefing everything in and scared for our lives and Talisman's like, ah, having a great time, just surfing 10 knots down this wave, amazing. I just get out and have fun and um, be safe, but don't overthink it all. Just kind of just take a jump and have fun. I'm just going to get the spinnaker pole in. <laughs> Are you living the dream? I am living my five year old right now. Swimming in the sea. That is the backdrop. Oh. Thank you all so so much for watching and thank you so much to everyone that continues to support our videos. As a lot of you may know, Talisman, our boat, is still up for sale. I know you're all itching to know what's happened and why we're selling, but we're happy, healthy, everything's good. We're just not quite ready to share the details just yet. We hope you'll continue watching our journey and find out for yourselves what lies next. But until then, please subscribe, like, comment if you've enjoyed our videos, because there's plenty more to come. See you next time.